Hi, I'm Don Peterson. I'm the NetBackup Product Manager responsible for encryption and key management. Key management is necessary when you're encrypting data. Today we're going to talk about what the NetBackup solutions are for encrypting your data. A lot of customers are looking at encrypting data now because there's a big concern if you are storing confidential data and sending it off-site. If that data gets lost, falls off the truck, which has happened, then you can be at a pretty big risk. You may have to notify every customer that their data is at risk. Uh, that could cost you millions of dollars just to do that. You could get sued by some of those customers if something happens to that data and it's, it's used uh, in a bad methodology. And you could have bad press as a result of that. Could even see your stock price goes down, go down. So the, our customers are very interested in encrypting any data that has confidential information that is being sent off-site. When you're doing encryption and key management, there's really six things you need to have to be able to provide a solution. The first of those is being able to generate keys and delete keys. Now, NetBackup, all the NetBackup solutions support 100, AES 128 and AES 256 bit encryption. Uh, typically, they're using 256 bit encryption because that's the most secure. You have to generate keys so that you can actually encrypt the data, but you're also going to want to delete the keys because when the backup images expire, to make certain you can't restore that data or no one can ever restore that data, you want to delete the key. When you're generating keys, you need a place to store the data. That's typically referred to as a key store. And within the key store, you're typically encrypting what's ever in there so that someone can't easily get access to those keys. You also want a way to back up or replicate those keys because, again, if you lose the keys, you cannot restore the data. So if something were to happen to the server that all these keys are on, you'd want to be able to build another server, be able to restore those keys, and be able to restore that data. You also need what's called the policy management. And that's basically going to specify which particular data gets backed up and how it gets backed up. Certain clients' data needs to be backed up. Uh, do you want to back it up just to certain tapes? Do you want to back it up you know, anytime something goes to that drive? Do you want to back up a certain copy of the, of the backup image, et cetera? So that's called policy management. Very important. When you do that within the backup application, you can use the backup application to do that. If you try to do that at a, a level above net backup, that appliance or whatever would typically not have the insight and be able to go down to the level that you can within net backup. You also need an encryption and compression engine because you need to be able to encrypt the data. You really want to compress it because you don't want, if you're writing it to tape, you don't want to use more tape than before. And once you encrypt it, you can't compress it. So, you, so if you're doing it outside of, of a tape drive, you must compress it first and then encrypt it. And then finally, you need some kind of distribution mechanism to be able to get the keys from this key store to this, to this uh, encryption engine, whether it be a, a tape drive. And with, with tape drives that do embedded uh, in compression and encryption, it would be via the, the SCSI bus. Otherwise, it might be some other method. So those are the things that are required as far as being able to uh, manage and encrypt the data. So next, we'll talk about the different solutions NetBackup offers. And we're going to talk about the three encryption key management solutions that NetBackup offers. The first of those is client encryption. And like it says, that's on the client. Key management is done on the client, as is con compression and encryption. <clears throat> because of that, there's CPU overhead on the client as well. The client is basically implemented by uh, filling out a checkbox, checking a checkbox on for for encryption and compression in the policy. And you want to do compression so that you don't end up using much more tape. Now, client compression and encryption also works with disk, uh, whereas the other two solutions don't. So you can write to any disk or any tape drive supported by NetBackup. 
as I mentioned before, there's CPU overhead because you're doing it on here, so it may not be a good solution for database servers, but it may be a real good solution for file servers. Because you're doing compression here also, you're not sending as much data across the LAN. And in that backup 6.5, cl client encryption was added as part of the standard client, so there is no charge for doing that. Second solution is called the media server encryption option, MSEO. And there is an agent part of that, which runs on the media server. And then what's called the security server, which typically sits on the NetBackup master server. And that generates and stores the keys. That is used, th that is compatible with any uh, operating system for, for Windows, for SLES and Red Hat Linux, as well as Spark and X64 Solaris. It's not uh, compatible with HPUX or AIX, and there are no plans for, for that compatibility. This works with any tape drives. Again, you're doing compression and encryption on the media server, but you can use almost any tape drive out here, not disk. Uh, and, and the HCL tells what tape drives are supported, compatible with any tape library that NetBackup supports as well. Policies are basically done by, you can use passphrases for specifying the encryption and the compression within the NetBackup policy, and then within the security server GUI, you specify rules for what data you want encrypted. So it may be a particular client's data, it may be uh, the second copy of a backup image, etc. But there's a lot of flexibility there. Key management is here. That can span domains, not just limit to it to single net backup uh, master. So you could have multiple master servers all functioning off of, of a single security server. Now there is, again, CPU overhead because you're doing all the encryption and compression here. One of the things you have to be careful with <clears throat> is if you're moving a lot of data through the media server, and say you had a whole slew of tape drives out here and you were able to keep those streaming, now if you're trying to move that much data through the media server, you may have to cut down on the number of tape drives to be able to main streaming with those tape drives because the actual CPU overhead becomes a bottleneck. This is licensed by, a media, by the agent option on each media server you want to use to encrypt or decrypt data. And you're also going to have to buy a security server license. One of the unique things about this is you cannot back up the keys on the security server and restore them. That will corrupt the keys. You have to use the built-in functionality called export and import if you, want to back, if you want to basically make a copy of the keys on the security server. And you do want to do that because if you lose the keys, you lose the data. The third solution is what's called KMS, stands for Key Management Service, which was added in NetBackup 652, and that's specifically for working with encrypted tape drives, tape drives that have that encryption and compression embedded in them. That is LTO4 tape drives, IBM TS1120 and 1130, and soon the STK, or Sun, T10,000 tape drives. <coughs> so the the management of the keys is done on the master server. That communicates with BPTM on the media server. It's supported on all the net backup OS platforms that are supported. All tape libraries that Mac backup supports, which those tape drives work in. So that's, uh, <coughs> that's a lot of flexibility there. It's based on, the encryption is based on writing to a volume pool that has an ENCR prefix. So you specify that prefix, NetBackup knows anything writing to any backup jobs going to that volume pool, get encrypted. Anything coming from that volume pool needs to be decrypted. This is free with NetBackup 652. In the future, there will be some uh, enhancements added to it. At that time, there will be a cost for the KMS option, but anybody wanting to continue to use the functionality in 652 will be able to do that for free. It was really developed to be very easy to use, very simple to set up and customers can get up and running with the solution in a, a matter of a couple hours. So we've talked about the three different solutions. Depending on what your needs are, you may want to do encryption on the client. Free, you may want to use the media server because it has more uh, scalability than doing it on the client. Or if you're using the new tape drives with embedded encryption, you may, may want to use the new NetBackup KMS to do that for those, to encrypt for those. Thanks a lot. Hope this gave you some good insight into what the NetBackup uh, encryption solutions are.